Y'all supposed to cut out part of this. Look. Chef Joe is cooking. When a pupil is ready, the teacher will appear. But the ingredients in this kitchen are a heaping side of hope and a dash of reality. That's what a lot of people do, especially in positions to hire. They judge you by your appearance. This is Cafe Reconcile, a dining experience like you've never seen. This is the kitchen of life. You know, we don't, we don't only train in techniques in the kitchen, but we train in techniques to live life. Cafe Reconcile opened 11 years ago in central New Orleans. Should I sing a little song about my church song or not? Sister Mary Lou Specia is the cafe's heart and soul. What this place means to you, I'll just start off with that. Oh, wow. I can't say it without crying. But. These are kids, what, on the fringe, you think? Oh, yeah. Many of them have experienced violence firsthand, lost somebody to death in their family, murder. Cafe Reconcile takes teenagers on the brink and prepares them to enter the workforce. Hundreds of these graduates now work in some of New Orleans' top restaurants, like inside the Lowe's Hotel. Each class learns to run this kitchen first, but before they get here, they learn life skills in a classroom. You don't got no job, you don't got no money. It's about building a foundation. You think before you speak, that's what, that's what we're talking about, okay? Every morning starts with a prayer. Amen. A chance to talk through frustration, and on some mornings, a time to talk about a friend that was murdered. Sister Mary Lou consoles the young woman. What happened? In the face, in the chest. I'm so sad. I'm going to put my hands on you, and I'm going to pray and pray and pray. A yeah. white Catholic nun from Iowa comes in here into one, yeah. one of the toughest neighborhoods in New Orleans and connects with these kids. She crazy. <laughs> it's become a hugely popular lunch spot. Before Leonard Alvis entered the program, he'd been in and out of jail five times for drug possession. Where do you think you would be if you weren't going through this program? Yeah, I'd be somewhere in jail somewhere. Because I was, I was really a wreck. I was a real wreck. Cafe Reconcile is a safe place for these young students, but life outside this kitchen isn't safe. Two months ago, Sister Mary Lou Specia got a phone call that made her question whether she could go on. Oh, it was horrible. I threw up my arms. I said, I'm done. The devastating news was the murder of 22-year-old Marvin Watts, a recent Cafe Reconcile graduate working for one of the top chefs in New Orleans. His senseless murder made Sister Mary Lou Specia want to walk away. The last thing he said, I said to him was, I said, Marvin, I love you. That's what I hear in my head every day. And he said, I love you too, sister. But it didn't take long for Sister Mary Lou to realize she couldn't give up. She sees inspiration in every face. Baked white chicken, sweets, greens. Because of young people like Causey Davis. A kid with so much talent and the biggest smile around, looking for a place to blossom. Causey is 22 years old, taught himself to play the piano. I feel... Every key that I play is real emotion. Kazi's family left New Orleans when he was in high school. He stayed behind and started drifting. Davis says he wasted countless days smoking weed. No place to call home, he started living out of a car. No future for this young father of two children. He turned to Cafe Reconcile, but the first time he failed a drug test and got kicked out. What'd you think of yourself? I just felt like a failure. You'd never guess, but Kazi's constant smile hides the reality of home life. Now living in this drug-plagued corner of the Treme district in New Orleans. This is the living room. This is a young man who has almost nothing. And this is my bedroom. Either it's this or homeless, so it's a roof, and I'm grateful for a roof. The people who are most vulnerable, the poorest, get judged the hardest, the harshest, because I think people don't want to see the poor. Thanks to Cafe Reconcile, you can now see Causey Davis working in a fancy New Orleans restaurant, and he's got even bigger dreams. I have faith. You know, I, have, I have strong belief that I'll be successful, and nothing this time will stop me. Nothing. Ed Lavendera, CNN, New Orleans.